Hawaii volcano Kilauea quakes, 3.6 and 3.5, about five hours apart. They both shake the Big Island twice in one day, five hours apart. And we're going to take a look at the shake maps of USGS. We know that Kilauea has water accumulating in the bottom of the crater. And we know that Pahala has recently been having the deeper quakes, big and deep. The ones today were 3.6 and 3.5. The Pahala quakes are basically found in the mantle plume column. And we know that Kilauea and Mauna Loa are refilling. They're also joined. As we can see here, Mauna Loa, Kilauea, and Loihi, the seamount, have a joint magma chamber. That's why most of the times when Kilauea erupts, Mauna Loa is not erupting, or when Mauna Loa erupts, Kilauea is not erupting. Volcano, U.S. Geologic Survey Observatory, time-lapse video at Kilauea Summit, covers about 30 minutes and shows the dynamic nature of the water lake in Halimaumau Crater. Steam from the hot water surfaces Boundaries on the water surface appears to show circulation in the lake. A lot of steam coming off. You can understand how hot that must be. And it seems that, of course, the lake is, is a much bigger, bigger lake than we had when it started about a year ago. Let's go to our... Uh, Seismo Berkeley, and this is it, Pahala, and um, Kilauea, that's the crater right there. Mauna Loa is right here, as we can see. And as we said before, they have the same, there's Loihi Seamount. Obviously, the Pahala quakes that have been really uh, deeper and uh, a lot of activity since the uh, Kilauea eruption, uh, we seem to have a lot of activity around here. And that's, of course, because this will be the new part of the island in the future, when the lava flows extend here. And this is our 3.5 shake map of the uh, 3.5 earthquake in Loihi at uh, about 11, uh, 15 UTC. And this is the shake map for the 3.6 uh, at the crater of uh, Kilauea. And you can see if you extrapolate the shake map intensities, it looks like it shook all of the Hawaiian Islands. This one and also the Pahala, the same thing. If you extend the uh, shake intensities, you can see that it, they probably shook up the whole thing. Right here. And going to our... Uh, Monitoring, this is the uh, multimedia that we saw before, rainbow over Helimamo, August 7th, and the water lake right here, as you can see. And the current alerts, let's go to our the alerts, Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, August 6th, Kilauea Volcano is not erupting, monitoring data for the month of July shows variable, but Typical rates of seismicity and ground deformation, low rates of sulfur dioxide emissions, and only minor geologic changes since the end of eruptive activity, September 2018. There were fewer than 1,100 earthquakes during the month of July at Kilauea, an approximate 10% decrease in the number of earthquakes detected in June. Of these, two were stronger than magnitude 4 earthquakes, with focal mechanisms consistent with slip along the south flank basal detachment and uh, this is it right here as we know the south flank basal detachment and these of course were not four these were 3.6 and 3.5 but going back to uh, the uh, explanation over the past month summit tilt meters recorded 16 deflation inflation events an increase over last month's total in the east rift zone the increased deformation rates that began March 2020, consistent with an episode of rift inflation west of Highway 130, 
and that lessened and flattened during May have returned to their pre-March trend, the long-term trend of deformation of Kilauea summit and Middle East Rift Zone continue to show inflation, inflation consistent with magma supply to the volcano's shallow storage system. GPS stations on Kilauea's south flank continue to show elevated rates of seaward motion. I'm going to take a look at the GPS um, showing the seaward motion, going this way that is. Okay, it's inflating and moving. Uh, seaward motion, HVO, Hawaii Volcano Observatory, continues to carefully monitor all data streams along Kilauea East Rift Zone and south flank for important changes. Sulfur dioxide levels are low, consistent with no significant shallowing of magma. Some amount of sulfur dioxide being dissolved into shallow groundwater and the crater lake at the bottom of Hali Mau Mau work continues to try to qualify this process. As of July 31st, the lake depth was approximately 135 feet or 41 meters. The crater lake was last sampled by UAS in January. An additional sampling with UAS is planned. Sulfur dioxide emission rates are below detection limits in Pu'o'o and the lower East Rift Zone. Although not currently erupting, areas of persistently elevated ground temperatures and minor release of gases are still found in the vicinity of the 2018 Lower East Rift Zone fissures. These include steam water, very small amounts of hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide. These conditions are expected to be long-term. Similar conditions following the 1955 eruption continue for years to decades. Okay. The, uh, since June 20, 20, uh, 25, 2019, Kilauea volcano has been green normal. For definitions, you can go to volcano alert, level alerts. Um, okay, now let's go to our monitoring. So we can see, okay, the uh, GPSs when they come up. Okay. Let's take this off. The stars are the GPSs, okay? The red is the last two hours. The GPS. Should we take uh, a, the star here? GPS, K-O-S-M. Okay, there's nothing there. Why is that? Let's take this one, GPS. Okay. Here we have one that's between Mauna Loa and Kilauea. Displacement, two years. Displacement, ten years. Okay, so it's going north. Let's go. Operator, okay. It's going, um, when it's going up, it means it's going east. It's going up, so it is going east. Is it going north? No, it's going south. So it's going southeast. And these are the uh, depth of the quakes. So this shows us that it, the movement is going east and south, southeast. It's going southeast. And let's take another one. Let's take one uh, around here. Let's take one around here. Okay. Nothing? Okay. Forget it. Let's take this one, W-A. Why is there the, the, Okay, well, what can I tell you? Let's take one around Pahala. They don't have anything around Pahala, looks like. Take, let's take this one, Hove. Okay, 10 years and two years. Let's take this one that has 10 years. Okay, it's going east. It's also going uh, slightly north in the past 10 years. And uh, you can see the earthquakes in meters. Okay, this is going I would say uh, slightly north, but it's definitely going east. And let's take one closer to Mauna Loa. Nothing, okay. Unfortunately, it doesn't, they don't have all the information for this again. Okay, let's take one, uh, take this one, which is recent. This one is not going east, it's going south and it's going south, and it's going west. This is going southwest. So you can see that we have different directions. This one is going, okay, 
This one is going southeast, and the other one was going southwest. Southwest, southeast, southwest. So you see the movement there. Anyway, this is what's happening here. In Hawaii, we have a lot of... Uh, a 2.9 earthquake as well uh, towards the north of the island. Okay, so we have a lot of movement here, and these are the uh, quakes that are not small, 3.5 and 3.6, five hours apart. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.